Herman with iSaveTractors.com. Today, I want to show you the inner workings of an international harvester rear differential. This differential is from a Cub Cadet 149 garden tractor. This is the same differential in all of the early narrow frame models as well as most of the wide frame models. And it's also the same differential that came from the famous Farmall Cub compact farming tractor. Uh, I have the rear cover pulled off. I want to show you the inside workings of the gears and show you how the gears interact with the wheels as you're driving the tractor. Enjoy. So what you're looking at are the gears inside of the differential of this Cub Cadet 149. This is a hydrostatic model. Uh, so this gear back there where my light is, see if I can get in focus, that is the input gear coming from the hydrostatic transmission. That turns this bigger gear below, that gives it a torque increase, and that bigger gear turns this smaller gear right here. This is the input gear uh, that turns this larger gear right here. This larger gear is called the ring gear. This is the largest and strongest gear in the rear differential. This ring gear turns this entire uh, carrier when both of your wheels are uh, providing traction on the ground. When one wheel loses traction, these spider gears take over and they start turning so the power can be delivered to the wheels that isn't stuck. I'm going to give you a demonstration right now of all of this in action. So this is what is happening inside your differential when you're driving your tractor. When you're driving straight and both your wheels are turning at the same speed, this is what's going on. That input gear from the hydrostatic transmission is turning this ring gear, and since both wheels are moving at the same speed, the spider carriers don't move, and this ring carrier that's attached to this housing moves everything. Now let's simulate a left-hand turn. On a left-hand turn, your left wheel, your inside wheel, is going to be traveling slightly slower than your outside wheel, and this is what's going on in that case. You'll see that the ring gear continues to turn, but the spider gears are also turning as well. And that's allowing the right hand wheel to pick up speed while the left hand wheel travels at a slightly slower pace. So that's what happens there. Now on a right hand turn, you'll see the same thing but on the opposite. That right hand spider gear now moves a lot slower than the left hand one and the ring gear remains turning as well. And again, this is on a straightaway. You're going straight, both your wheels have traction. None of the spider gears turn and the ring gear does all the turning. So there you have it. That's what it looks like inside your rear differential on your garden tractor. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel below, as well as look us up on Facebook and always at isavetractors.com. In addition to doing these tutorials, we also sell all kinds of aftermarket engine parts for Kohler K and cast iron Briggs & Stratton engines. Please check us out. Once again, it's isavetractors.com, and I'll see you next time.